All right. So since we since the break or when I left you last, um, we were taking apart the 203 transfer case and getting it ready to made up to our 205 transfer case with the Jed's machine um, doubler kit. So we took off the chain case uh, along with the gear and everything last time. Um, there is, let's see if I can get that to sit in there. Anyway, oh, cool. so as we pointed out last time, there's this little part right here that shifts the shift fork on the chain case. You only have to push that to one side and it just pulls out. Very easy. You can set that aside, throw it in a recycle bin, whatever, you will not need it. So I'll get us set back up to where we were again. All right. Once you take that out, you can then give the um, input shaft a slight tug. That'll bring the gear and bearing assembly out of the case. After you have that out, there is a big ring right here. That ring is also hooked up to a shift fork. See if I can get it a little bit better. There we go. Now you can see it a little bit better. Uh, hooked up to the shift fork. If you give that a little bit of a wiggle, it will come out. See if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it with one hand here. Um, okay. Definitely the easier way to do it. Take your this little nut that's on the top of your 203 transfer case. Take that off. And there is a spring in there. So you can decompress that spring. You can pop it out with like a screwdriver or what have you. Take that spring out. Then there is this little guy over here, your little shift. You take take their nut off. And this guy also goes in there. I have this set up just so I can show you guys real quick. Um, how this whole setup goes. Uh, so this little sleeve was in there. Um, so you take that shift fork out. Ooh. As I drop you guys. Ooh, that was fun, huh? Alright. So you take that shift fork out. Up there. Ta-da! So then you get this little spider type looking deal and your shift fork. Put you back on here so you guys don't have to deal with my jiggling. There we go. Hopefully I can cut some of this out. Um, so once you get all of that out, on this far, on this far side, once you take the nut out, there's a snap ring that resides on this little part that was on the shift fork. It goes right in there. You take that out, and you can give it a push into the inside of the transfer case. Uh, definitely one thing that helped me getting that ship the this uh, cam out of there was there's a little knot there's two notches on either side you can give that notch a little bit of a rotate as you're pulling that out because very close to each other and it'll allow you to take that
cam out of the 203 transfer case. So now that you got your assembly out of there, there is a snap ring right, right there, just on top of the bearing, on the inside of the bearing. So what we're talking about is there's a snap ring that's right on the top. You gotta expand that snap ring and it'll come off of your shaft. I'm gonna set this one aside so we don't really need it anymore. Once you get that snap ring off, your whole assembly is basically like that. So you take this aluminum ring off, then it'll have your uh, this little spacer in between your bearing and your gear. So once you get this whole whole thing off of your shaft, your shaft will look like this guy. There is, see if I can get it so you guys can see it here, there is that little dowel pin right there. You'll want to take that out so that you can install it later. So now I'm going to show you how to put it all back together. Um, this shaft you can send back to Jed's and he'll machine it down to look more something like this guy. Put your input, put your input splines for your 205 onto it and then all the rest of that assembly we just took off goes back on. Um, so just to show you what it looks like, yeah you can see it. This guy goes right in here on your 205 transfer case. So, now we're going to do the reverse process, put everything back together. So, we take our shaft that we got back from Jed's machine, put it down, and You'll want your gear with the small splined part towards the front of that, um, towards the front of the shaft, so that you have, um, so that those line up. So, put that back on there. Then, this is where you put your dowel pin back in. This guy's really tiny. Just a little itty bitty dowel pin. And then it will go in just a little hole right on the side. Your spacer also has that little notch right in there. You can see it right there. That goes, your dowel pin fits right in there. So this guy doesn't spin around in the on that shaft. So then before you put your bearing retainer on, um, I'll get the old bearing re bearing retainer here. On my spare bearing retainer that I got here, if you can look look right here, there's this little tab. This whole tab needs to be ground down flat with the rest of the. Uh, housing here, so it needs to look like this part here, right there. Um, I used a bandsaw to do it. You can use like grinder, whatever, to take that little part off. Once you have that done, you can set it back on there. Then you grab your snap ring again. 
Okay, all right. Put in that snap ring. Once you have the snap ring back on there, um, so you'll notice that. I told you to take out that little cam. So where that shift fork, this little guy, was attached like that in your transfer in your rain, 203 range box. Take that off like we like I showed you earlier. This whole whole cam assembly comes out. You can pull them apart. Just gotta get another tug. Um, this is the one that will go that connects to your shift fork. This one is the one that used to shift the rear part of our chain case on the 203. Now that we don't have the chain case or the 203, we no longer need this cammed piece. So what I did was I just cut it right here, there, and right there. Put it in the vise and gave this little ring part a hit, and it'll come apart. Um, I just don't like extra pieces and stuff I'm using. If I don't have to have it there, then we can get rid of it. As one of my friends used to say, yeah, it must be optional. So... Then you end up with your shift fork cam, and we're going to clean this up just a tiny bit here before we put it all back together. Okay, so you want to make sure that, that now each end does look very fairly similar with the... Uh, you want to make sure that the, your rubber seals are facing up. Give that a slide together. So, like I was saying earlier on the little gear assembly in there. There's that little notch right in there. They'll help assist you get the correct angle to get that back in. I might go from the outside too. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put it in from the outside. So, once you get that, that modified piece, take your snap ring that you used or that you took off of it earlier. Ooh. Now once you take the snap ring off, take the snap ring that you took off earlier, grab your snap ring pliers, put this back, put that back around the modified piece. It'll just keep it from Going in and out. Then take your cam piece, put it back in there, slide in there fairly easy. shift fork and our shift fork spot so slide your shift fork back into your cam and slide the whole assembly back onto the input shaft then we grab our other part of our shaft
our assembly. Slide the gear assembly back in. Give it a little spin for a fit. And if you measure, if you look, watch, just make sure you push this, put this down. Because if you look here, we have our intermediate spot, and this guy has a little notch in it. So when you go to put it together, that notch should line up with the other part. That One thing before you start on your 205 transfer case, Judd, Judd's machine gives you what they're calling here a twin stick gauge. See if I can hold it steady for you. So what that is, on your 205 transfer case, uh, there's a modification to it that's called twin sticking. And what that does is it helps these two in uh, move independently of each other, so you can do um, low range uh, two wheel drive front, low range two wheel drive rear, high range, so on and so forth. This little gauge, you'll want to take out your input, sh uh, the one your shifter from your input shaft that's closest to your input shaft. There is a shift nut like we just were using on our 203 on our 205. You'll take that out along with the uh, spring and ball that's in there. Also, there is a frost plug just right ne directly next to where the uh, shift fork nut is. If you take a punch, punch that through and put a screwdriver in the hole. That'll hold your shift fork that is on the inside from falling down while you pull that out, while you pull this um, shift rail out. Wiggle the shift rail out. Put this on the end of your shift rail and grind the appropriate spots. Um, I'm not going to show you that modification just because I don't want to have to take my 205 transfer case back apart. I've already done that mod. link to uh, steps to do that modification to your own 205 transfer case. Um, so once you got that done, the um, Chevy guys, the, um, this is going to be your other shift point for your 205. Take two bolts off of your 205 there, tighten your bolts up, then I also ordered the triple stick kit from Jed's Machine. This is what the triple stick looks like. Um, they give you all of everything that you need to do this whole modification. Um, okay, so uh, I just got done putting it all together. Um, here's your 205 transfer case along with your 203 range box. Um, we got the triple stick um, conversion on there. Uh, this guy will shift your 203 into high and low, high neutral and low range. Uh, these two sticks will, or shift linkage, will shift your 205 into high and low range in each of the front and rear wheel uh, portions of the two wheel of the. 205 transfer case. 
Uh, all the green parts except for this guy here are from Jed's machine. So now that I have that done, um, the easiest thing that I used to put these two together was a five gallon bucket. Uh, I set the 205 with the output shaft from the 205 in the five gallon bucket to um, allow me to put the 203 transfer case, or um, range box, excuse me, on to the 205 um, transfer case. The uh, I did have a couple of extra modifications that I wasn't really planning on doing, but they were very minor. The um, bolt that had to go into the shift fork, uh, that hole needed to be um, drilled out a little, along with um, the bolt for the shift fork. Ah, there we go. Along with the bolt for the shift fork on this other part of the linkage. I had to grind that down a little bit so it wouldn't hit the two o the back side of the 203 on the adapter here. Um, other than that, this is you know a few hours job. Definitely you can get it done in a weekend. If you have the 203 transfer case out of your rig. You can do that way, uh, way in advance before you do the 205 because 205 takes 15 minutes to do that twin stick uh, modification. Um, anyway, I want to thank Jed's Machine for a uh, great product and uh, I can't wait to get, uh, get to use it.